Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Team Wilder says to Team Joshua, send the contracts immediately. UK, we on the way. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. It's going down. It's going down tonight. Listen, Joshua just beat Parker in a unification March 31st. Bravo. Post fight, he says he wants Wilder next or Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is not an active fighter, so we're going to stick to Wilder. Until Tyson Fury probably gets a tune-up. He, he might fight a tune-up and then Shannon Briggs. So I'm not worried about that. Let's talk about the unification for undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. He says, Joshua says, I'll knock Wilder, get him in the ring, and I'll knock him spark out. End quote. Right? Shout out to worldboxingnews.net. Link in the description. They've already been in touch with Team Wilder. Wilder's trainer, JD's. And... He's already responded to that. Obviously, there are a lot of eyes, 80,000 fans, a lot of eyes on this particular fight. JD's did an interview, exclusive interview, responding to it. And again, link in the description. This is what he says. We are glad Anthony Joshua said what he said. We accept. Send contracts immediately. UK, we are on the way. D's told, exclusively told World Boxing News. He says... He compared it to like basketball. He said Deontay Wilder isn't putting anyone in front of Anthony Joshua. So Joshua shouldn't put anyone in front of Deontay Wilder. It's the final four. Wilder, Ortiz, Joshua Parker, Wilder won. And if Joshua wins, it's only right that the two fight next. You don't get to the final two in football, basketball, or any other sport. Then have one say, well, we're going to play this other team first. That's nonsense. I personally don't believe AJ is Eddie's puppet. I think AJ is his own man, a great champion, who wants to fight the best. I hope I'm right and that he tells Eddie to make the fight. He has the power to do just that. Deontay versus Anthony Joshua is the biggest fight in boxing. We don't need another Lennox Lewis versus Riddick Bow super fight that we never got to see. The sport needs it to happen and happen now. We want the fight. It's a great contest, a historic contest. We want the fight. I'll say it a third time. We want the fight, do they? End quote. Link in the description. This is what I'm talking about. Listen, all the people said Wilder needed to be in the UK and go to Cardiff, Wales. Apparently not, because the streets are still buzzing. The boxing industry is still buzzing. Everyone's talking about this. Joshua got past his opponent. And like Jay is saying, he's glad that they called it. Everything worked perfectly, because now you have two teams who are publicly declaring they want war. They want to make the fight. So this is going to separate who's telling the truth versus who's not. Like I said, new media, Eagles Army, stand up, LSI, let's see it. Hashtag tell the truth, tell the truth. And we're going to see who's telling the truth. Again, if Joshua ends up fighting Gerald Miller or Alexander Povetkin first and it's announced that he's going a separate way, then we'll know that it was teams Joshua's side that had uh, interim fights that they wanted before fighting Wilder. Right. Same thing with Wilder. If he announces tomorrow, they don't do any kind of negotiations. And he announces tomorrow that he's fighting Dominique Brazil unless he's being made to by the WBC. But the WBC, which is his only belt, Mauricio Suleiman did a recent interview. I did a video on it. Check it on the channel. He says Wilder just took care of Bermain Stavern. That's his mandatory. So he's good. He says we will stand out of the way, stand down and accept the unification or a voluntary fight of his choice. And that's a recent interview from Mauricio Suleiman of the WBC. So according to both camps, there's nothing in the way. Now, the only thing I'm skeptical with Team Joshua, I don't know all the parameters. I'm just going off what they say. There's conflicting things. Eddie Hearn post fight after the Joseph Parker win for AJ. He keeps talking about numbers. And um, I'm seeing AJ did an interview and he says Wilder has to bend on his demands. And I, do I do I get a bonus? You know what I mean? And Eddie Hearn's talking the numbers game and stuff like that. Listen, Eddie Hearn says something like Wilder in his last contest 
sold five five thousand to seven thousand seats which is incorrect misinformation because i i got the email from barclays and it was fourteen thousand sixty nine so it's literally more than double depending on what the, he gave a range but literally more than double of the highest number he cited and that's what he's quoting so you got to give the correct information and besides that nobody in boxing is really aside from like maybe canelo or floyd you know what i mean there's not really many people capable of selling 70 to 80 thousand you have to be um first of all in a region that supports boxing you have to be in a place where you could pack out stadium you know what i mean we know this so you can't use that against everyone because if that's the case no one's worthy to fight anthony joshua because no one's selling eighty thousand other than like i said like a canelo and they're in totally different weight classes canelo did like fifty-one thousand in mexico so he could say he packed out um a texas stadium with a, a little known liam smith but aside from a few guys there's not many people that have these crazy weigh-ins there's conor mcgregor in the ufc there's Floyd Mayweather, Canelo, and there's AJ. So you can't keep using that as a crutch because if that's the case, you trump everybody. You know what I mean? Joshua fought Dominique Brazil. He fought Charles Martin. None of these guys had massive uh, pay-per-view, like all-star recognition and stuff and notoriety. Even Joseph Parker. So that's that. But we're going to get to see. And this excites me because, like I said, both teams are saying they want it. This should be something that can get done and should get done. I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know who's going to have to concede this and that. But um, you hear Wilder's team and they, they're they saying they want it. So something has to give. Eddie Hearn said post-fight that Wilder's team, they don't really want it. They never sent us a contract, which I have a hard time believing these things because throughout boxing history, when has the B side made the offer and sent it to the A side? You don't really see that. But Barry Hearn... Eddie Hearn's dad said recently, we might start negotiations as early as next week. Hashtag, let's see it, LSI. That's all I'm trying to see. This is a great fight. And just like Wilder's trainer is saying, Jay, we don't need another Lennox Lewis. And I, it's funny because I told y'all Wilder, Team Wilder, they're new media because they're saying the same stuff. I use this same exact example of all these fallen fights. And I used a heavyweight fight, the same one he's using, Lennox Lewis versus Riddick Bo. They have beef from the amateurs or Olympics or whatever. Um, and the fight, we never got to see it. Along with another ton of great fights that could have happened. You know what I mean? So boxing's in a very good space let's keep it up shout out to world boxing news for the exclusive interview but they said we accept send the contracts immediately right and wilder has publicly said various things he says offer me 10 percent. i'll take whatever but you guys take that in the rematch he's also said um it's not about a percent or his, his manager said it's not about a percent so there should be some middle ground if both guys are saying they want it Guys like Tyson Fury saying that Anthony Joshua shouldn't take the fight because he believes that Wilder would knock out AJ. But let's get the fight made and then the fans can pick who they want to pick as to who is going to win the fight. But Team Wilder, they said we accept send contracts immediately. UK were on their way. So we're going to see real soon who's what. You know what I mean? And and the thing is, like Gerald Miller, he doesn't fight till the end of April. And it's, it's the beginning of the month. It was just April Fool's. So if they wait all the way to see what, you know what I mean? If there's no negotiations and they're waiting for Gerald Miller to perform at, on the 26th or whatever of the month, then I, I don't know that they really want to make the fight. If Eddie Hearn keeps mentioning that Wilder should fight uh, Povetkin or Dillian White, the guy he's been, then to me that doesn't, that means they're the ones that don't really want the fight. So we'll see. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, but good, good message from Team Wilder. They said they're with it. They said they'll go to the UK, and I, I like that too because Joshua said post fight. They said, "Do you want to conquer America?" And he says, "No," just like that. Let me know what you guys think. Who wins? Can the fight happen? What are the roadblocks? Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.